Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Phil with Full of Life Ministries. Today's message is entitled, The Continuous Act of Prayer. Now in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 7, verses 7 through 8 tells us, it says, ask and you will receive, search and you will find, knock and the door will be open for you. Everyone who asks will receive. Everyone who searches will find. And the door will be open for everyone who knocks. People of God, time in prayer is the oxygen for our soul. It's a time throughout the day to nourish our hearts, to continue on our journey and to live out our purpose. But there are days when we feel winded, weak, anxious, frustrated, fearful, distracted, and out of focus. It's in these moments that prayer oftentimes gets neglected. So consequently, our attitude changes. Think about this, everybody. One of the greatest gifts that the Lord has provided for us is the one we casually use. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about prayer. In the darkest hours of our lives, in some of the most difficult situations that we find ourselves in, our mind races at warp speed. We panic, we stress out. The state of confusion can overwhelm you. And now you find yourself searching for answers all in the wrong places. The thoughts of defeat appear so vivid. The pressures of life become more and more intense. And these emotions, these real life issues begin to weigh you down. People of God, there is a euphemism, an adage, a phrase that rings so true. And it simply says, actions speak louder than words. This expression suggests that what someone does has more value than what someone says. You see, the continuous act of prayer is God's way of developing character in you, integrity, a sense of purpose and significance. You see, God is so involved in our lives that his main objective is to point out some obvious sins that's in our lives. He provides for us clear instructions through faith. He helps us to recognize the hazards that can potentially trip you up or entangle you. And ultimately, his ultimate goal is to empower you with strength and courage to face your everyday challenges that you're currently in. Now listen, in 1 John, the fifth chapter, verses 14 and 15 says, we are certain God will hear our prayers when we ask for what pleases him. And if we know God listens when we pray, we are sure our prayers have already been answered. You see, as believers, we have an assurance that we have eternal life through Jesus. Salvation has connected us back to our heavenly father. And as believers in him, we can be confident knowing what he requires from our lives. And these verses emphasize that it's God's will, not our will, that we look to and follow. When we communicate with God, we don't demand what we want. Rather, we discuss with him what he wants for us. If we align our prayers to his will, he will listen and we can be certain 
that if he listens, he will give us a definite answer. So start praying with confidence. The continuous actions of prayer is really understanding how prayers are heard. God always has an open door policy, but we have to come correct. You see, asking with wrong motives or demanding him to fix our problems that we created, or better yet, your lack of humility towards God can affect a potential blessing that the Lord wants to provide for you. You see, what pleases God is that you will be committed to him totally. And the best students apply what they have been taught. The athlete who follows instructions will improve. The person who wants to get in the best shape possible allows a trainer to motivate them towards overall good health. So listen, everybody. Trying something one time or occasionally praying for your situation to get better will never produce the results you're looking for. It's the continuation or consistency with the right with the right mindset that produces great results. You see, a consistent, continuous prayer life is required for a successful life. So asking is, is simply getting directions for all things concerning your purpose. Searching is simply making sure your plans and aspirations line up with his will for your life. And this is called personal growth. And knocking, knocking requires action, requires persistence on our part and faith to believe what lies behind God's door will keep you in perfect peace. Isaiah 26 and 3. It's a promise from the Lord and he says, the earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. James 5 and 16. You see, the Christian's most powerful resource is communion with God through prayer. The results are often greater than we thought were possible. Some people see prayer as a last resort to be tried when all else fails. This approach is simply backwards. Prayer, people of God, should come first because God's power is infinitely greater than ours. It only makes sense to rely on it especially because God encourage, encourages us to do so. So listen, people of God, my friends, my family, people from around the world, I want you to remember this because I'm reminded of this quote by Aristotle that says, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. So earnestly pray each day and you'll experience a bounce back in your step and a habit that will be beneficial to you and everyone that's connected to you. This is being in the center of God's will. And that's the safest place in the whole wide world. Be encouraged today and keep shining. But before I go, let's pray. Bow your heads with me if you can. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time. We ask you, O oh God, to bless every person under the sound of my voice and that your spirit will reside in each person that's listening to this message of hope. I pray, O oh God, that you will give strength and courage and that you will bring conviction 
and that you would change the way we operate. Please forgive us of our sins. Wash us, cleanse us, wash away the thoughts, wash away our actions and our motives. Bless every person that needs financial help or needs emotional stability or simply really needs to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Whatever their needs are, oh God, you are the God who will supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. So continue to bless all of those that are affected for this war that's about to take place. I pray for some friends. I pray for the Snow family. They just lost their dad, their husband, oh God. So give strength to those who are really hurting, oh God. I pray for every person who's right now in the hospitals, those who are homeless, those who are struggling through life because they just feel like they can't make it. I pray, oh God, choice blessings or every person that is going through a difficult situation. Let them realize and recognize that without you, none of this would be possible for change to take place. We thank you and we praise you for all that you've done and what you're going to do. And we ask all these blessings in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. People of God, be encouraged and keep shining. And thank you once again for tuning in to Full of Life Ministries of San Diego. God bless you. Please email us at fulloflifesd at gmail.com if you have any kind of needs that you are looking for, any questions that you may have. If you're just looking for a word of encouragement, please reach out to us. You can write us at P.O. Box 121411, San Diego, California, 92101. You can follow us on Twitter at Full of Life SD. You can follow us on Instagram, Full of Life Ministries. You can follow us on YouTube. We have a Full of Life Ministries YouTube channel. If you'd like to give to this ministry, please cash app Full of Life, last two letters SD. I'm going to say that one more time. The cash app, which is the dollar sign, Full of Life, and then the last two letters capitalize SD and you can also give through Venmo at Pastor Phil please there is a link support this podcast at anchor.fm slash full of life SD slash support you can give 99 cents a month for monthly contributions 99 cents a month $4.99 a month or $9.99 $9.99 a month so we can continue to be a blessing to so many people throughout this world. Please be prayerful, be mindful. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. I'll talk to you next week. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. God bless.